oh my goodness, everyone, there's a flood outside and tornadoes. But welcome to the CBG Pod, episode number 52. I'm AJ. And I'm Steve. Steve, who are we brought to you today by? Tornadoes, a full deck of cards, and how to craft the perfect resignation letter. Yay, Steve, do you want to tell us about that before or after we try this beautiful Templeton uh, Rye 6 Well, year? since now I'm burning your ears, might as well uh, get to the chase. Uh, so a month ago, I'd applied to an IT position with Carvana, and that didn't pan out. Well, immediately after that, they were holding a job fair for positions at the new facility opening a Concord at the old Philip Morris site. Well, seeing as it's way too long to work for that particular cigarette manufacturer, I'll see what I can do here. Smoking. And pretty well walked on to a position as a photographer for the website. So the... uh, Pay will probably start out lateral at best, but the benefits appear to be handsome. And either way, it's still about a half hour commute. Whoops. Yeah, but, but just to, yeah, it gets me off third and instead into a very early first shift. So I'll be on your dumb time zone. Yay! <laughs> if Misery Loves Company, I will say hi. <laughs> well, congratulations, Steve. So that's uh, another reason I brought some a bottle bottle of goodies. So I bought you some Templeton Rye Six Year. I've never had this. So. That makes two of us. Cheers. That tastes really good with chloroseptic. <laughs> I'd imagine it tastes pretty good on its own, too. Uh, yeah, that's really... That's fantastic. Um, it's uh, right well, Was this another, like, 30-ish? Uh, 40-ish. Okay. Uh, the regular Templeton rye. Um, basically, when you order a rye whiskey at a regular bar, it's usually regular Templeton, which is a four-year. They okay. have a four, a six, and a ten. I got the six. I figured it was a good middle ground to try it on its own. Um, and yes. It makes... Most rye whiskeys are spicier, which is confusing because this is really smooth. I'll have to try this again when I'm not sucking on drugs. <laughs> but the right kind of drugs, not the ones you cannot get the job for. Yeah, that's it. And you're supposed to hear back uh, uh, early next week? It should be early next week to have final offers and whatnot. And um, tentatively, the facility is opening on the 2nd of March. All right. So... That gives me, in theory, I could have like my two weeks notice and maybe a week off. Fuck yes. (laughs) Which is funny because I actually started working at, who are this week at the print shop back in the warehouse there, Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day 06. Oh my goodness. So if I can make this in even 14 years and then it's been, the rehirement was the 16th of February of 2016. So... Altogether, I've been there four years with a four-month gap, during which I had a severance, and I do believe they've worked that eight grand back out of me. I'm sure they have. <laughs> well, uh, cheers to the next sucker who gets that position while there's still a position to get, I suppose. Um, well, back in October, my coworker on third and print quit, and my immediate thought was, you better make it two. Yeah. Well, And uh, they still haven't. Uh, they... Kicked around the idea of moving the guy from second shift on the third, Mm. but his attendance is creative at best. (laughs) I I think he's good to get there about three and a half days a week out of the five. So seeing as a lot rests on the third shift shoulders to get the first print enveloping crew anything to do, that's not going to fly. No. And then they might actually fire him or something. (laughs) <laughs> Instead, it was like, it's just a running joke now. Like, well, Shirley's doing all the work and Kendall's doing nothing. <laughs> well, they'll figure, they'll figure even more of that out if you're not there to pick up pieces. <laughs> uh-huh. And you said you'll find out sometime early next week. So. Uh, sure hope so. I haven't heard anything else today, but this is also the final day of the job fair that we're holding in downtown Concord right, at and- the NC Career Center, like right about where... Church Street 29 meet right before uh, right before the hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where it was. Uh, gotcha. That was just a random thing that popped up on Facebook um, a couple weeks ago. So I missed the initial session of that at the end of January since that was at the end of all hell breaking loose. And then February's started its own brand thereof. Emily sends so it's her been con- very inspiring to get out of there. Yeah, Emily sends her congratulations uh, at when I went uh, 
and swam there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, Jeep's going to Jeep. It, it was fine. Although I will say that. I always got hydroplaned into by a Jetta this morning. Eek. Yeah, on 45. So, oh, and this better. was at in excess of 45 speed. <laughs> Thanks, Michael Hutchins. Uh, but you're good. You're, you love taking pictures and you take good pictures. And I'm not sure they even knew that, but uh, they're about to. And, and that's why I've said it's like, yeah, so it appears I've been hired as a photographer without even submitting a portfolio. Because <laughs> why not have some fun describing what just happened? Have you seen the, the family guys? Like, what does she even do? She's a photographer. Oh, give me a fucking break. Every hot girl with a, fo- with a phone camera thinks she's a photographer. Ooh, you took a picture of a rose in black and white. You're so brooding and deep. <laughs> well, Steve, here's oh, more. Oh, yeah, I've... Speaking of, I do have pictures of the uh, rose bush out front of my house. I meant to caption, okay, bloomer. <laughs> Steve, we got more goodies for you. Why don't you give everybody a... Uh, it'd be much easier to read this before I open it, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. So what we have here is the new serum, Griffin Series, Seeing Shadows, a Bill Murray-inspired libation, <laughs> Jeeps and all, <laughs> ale brewed with lactose maple syrup, Cold steeped coffee and fat stacks of pancakes and waffles brought to you by New Serum Brew Co. And dun, 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 dun. Food Line Land, Salisbury, North Carolina. Uh, at 11% ABV, mm. so this will be loud enough to knock you down. And uh, hence, it's the Griffin series that has a lovely Griffin on it, which is what caught my eye. It's like, give me the red thing. Yes. And ready? One and a two, and a here we go. All right. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I'm moving to the country. Going to eat me a lot of pancakes. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I would pour that. I would like thicken that. And, yeah, that too. <laughs> I would pour that all over waffles and eat it. I, or dip it. We could like make a, yeah. Are you um, a dipper? I'm a dipper with waffles. I'll get like a little bowl like, and then do, just dip it in there. I, I do like dippable food and that way it gets less soggy. Yes, Absolutely. So, Steve, in that good news, do we move on to, before we get to, uh, by the way, I picked something. I picked a topic for us musically. Um, 1991, year in review for music. Whatever, never mind. <laughs> 94. Car- the- Carvana, never mind, man. <laughs> well, back to Carvana, though. That, that, they're doing pretty well. I mean, that seems uh, to be yeah, the future. I, th- this appears to be uh, going from... A workplace that has a thirty-eight cent mark um, stock price to one with an eighty-nine dollar stock price. So I, there's that. <laughs> uh, I don't get print bills, do you? Nude. And do you uh, get like a vehicle allow, like something down the road? Uh, there would be opportunity for a discount. Nice. Um, and I think it's a flat rate. It's like, all right, well, I can find the car when that's good for ten percent off. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Steve, so I'm, I'm looking at you, you know, newer Corolla hatchback thing. Fuck yes. Or Maz 3. Yeah, so, so, something the, similar to uh, Mazda Speed 3. I don't know if the clock goes back that far, and I've heard those are nightmares to keep running. Well, you know, Adam doesn't have his anymore. He's just got a Mazda CX-5. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Pretty, color, pretty color blue. That's a really pretty color. I like a red one. Uh, or, the, you, or you keep going on about the red in those. That might the sole red metallics, the red color. That's oh, so pretty. <laughs> Mazda's doing the color. Actually, you know what? I feel like Mazda, modern Mazda, is what Honda used to be. Like, real innovative. They had a lot of style. The colors were, were good. The engines were like... But mm-hmm. now it's... Honda Honda knows they're going to sell every Civic it's and Accord they make and pilot. Very appliance-ish. Um, yeah. And these, yeah. the, the, the faster Civics, while entertaining, are just plain ugly. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Oh, Emily must be home. She got home a lot quicker. Maybe coming from uh, South Park, even in the rain, is faster than I, Pineville. A lot of schools were let out early today because of it. Yeah, I managed true. to get home in 40 minutes instead of an hour from the South Park area earlier. So I was able to make it by to make sure my house didn't get squished by a tree. You're, you're, we've done a podcast during a, a hurricane. Now we're going to do one during a tornado. No storms next. <laughs> Or have we done one? Uh, no. The snow's so few and far between here. Well, that's true. Well, before we get into uh, our... We're doing logos, band logos, and we're doing 1991 albums. Two, it's going to be a music-heavy one, but that's fine. Uh, 
Beer news, Steve. Coronavirus is threatening beer consumption in Asia. But I, I lead you with this, though. A man who had coronavirus claims he overcame the illness with hot whiskey and honey. <clears throat> uh, you know, often booze kills bacteria. I, I don't understand why people are drinking less virus, uh, because of coronavirus. Uh, well, if it shares a name with the beer. Do they get corona in Asia? Can't imagine there's a whole lot of uh, Mexican restaurants. No, but in Asia. maybe Taiwan. But check with Gerald, check with Sean. I don't know the, what's the <laughs> beer scene like over that away. Uh, number two, <clears throat> Coors Light threat uh, threatens Coors Light tweets support of uh, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, uh, who got a little bit of backlash for chugging a bunch of Coors Light on their parade bus. <laughs> <laughs> so Coors Light is supporting Mr. Mahomes and you know what I am too he's 24 years old he just won the Super Bowl and you no, can do what I, you I'll want enough, I, I did uh, watch Smoking the Bandit again last week and uh, something about wants to celebrate in style <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the highlights of that movie I've never seen Smokey and the Bandit uh, all the way through. Watch, watch the first and just get more influenced for the second two <laughs> <laughs> what if I want to be outfluenced Whatever you want. Uh, number three, Steve. Self-serve beer bars have grown in popularity in the last three years. Um, I am on the fence about this because the one time I actually went to, which was a Taco Mac, because you... F- expensive? Uh, yeah, because you're your own bartender and you're not going to cut you off. So you just yeah. kind of keep going. And I'm just going to tell you the ounce is not, you know, this is going to be 30, 40, 50 cents an ounce. And that, that adds up after a while. But uh-huh. see, I like the camaraderie of going to a bar and talking to the bartender. Like it seems very cold to to just go in somewhere and just do your own thing. Like it, it techno I don't that's not technological, I don't think. That's just I don't know. I I don't I don't like the idea. I don't want to pour my own beer most of the time because the guy's pouring it behind the bar better than me at it. I'm pretty good at drinking it though. Uh I, I'm Dr- not I'm, drinking the fizz. <clears throat> the, was were you there that night at Taco Mac? And our bill was well into the expensive <laughs> yeah the hundos way into the hundos uh-huh. almost to the two hundos well anyway human robot brewery <clears throat> take two. pardon human robot brewery opening in philadelphia uh human refers to a classic german style beer robot to the experimental super stouts and uh sours and and hoppy beers so i'm not sure i get the reference i understand the idea but I don't really, I don't know if that was the best name for that place. <laughs> Human robot brewery. Well, ro- wooden robot is already taken. Well, I uh, you could or make a or, cy- or cyborg brewery might already be taken. Maybe. But we we have an idea. <laughs> we really love Terminator Two. Judgment Day brewery would have been better. <laughs> By the way, I've it always bothered me that there's only one E in that word. Judgment. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Ugh. Was that on? That was on purpose, I mean. Uh, I think it's one of those words that can be spelled either way. Oh, like uh, like whiskey. What is whiskey with an E or without an E? Uh, Scottish versus Irish, or you have uh, Stanley County versus Stanley the town. Right. Yeah. Everybody always spelled it wrong. It was Stanley. Was like- <laughs> Stanley. I did Stand go, lie. I went to my um my high school basketball uh or my I went to my alma mater's game last Friday. And you know you're old when not only none of the players know who you are because you're old. Uh I didn't see any of my peers I knew of my age, nor did I recognize any of the parents there. But I had all these scents coming back. Like when as soon as I walked into the gym, that smell I which I haven't smelled in years. I haven't even thought about it. And as soon as I smelled, I went Holy shit. All my nostalgia just kind of kept... I got to go in the locker that room. That special brand of wooden sweat. Yep. I went into the locker room. and What was funny is I walked by... Um, I was walking by the student section, which is the same student section as it always is. And a guy goes, hey! And I, I turn around and he goes, high five, man. And I'm like, no. High ten, man. <laughs> and I high ten him. And his friends loved it. Well, later on, I found I went into the locker room. Uh, coach Thompson, the J, he was the uh, assistant coach when I was there, and um, he's like, "I'd love to see old players come through here." And blah blah blah. And 
We go in there, and the guy that I high tend was in there. He's like, oh, I didn't know you were a former player. I'm like, uh, what? What about me doesn't suggest I used to play basketball. <laughs> but uh, they were like, what did you play, man? And I was like, uh, when you were all in diapers. <laughs> and it's not inaccurate because they're all 16 and 17 years old. And You've been driving that long. I've been driving that long. I've been driving, oh, my God, 18 years. Uh, Steve, go get, go get the paperwork for my AARP card. <laughs> But uh, it was it was cool. I had my name in my locker because every they have it up top when you're there, and then when you graduate, they put it inside the locker and they have the running. So it made me kind of teary eyed. Yes, yeah, so I had a picture of that. Like, so this had the locker open, or was it not being used at the time? Um, it was a it, the the guy that was had my number. He was he was getting dressed, and I just I, he he moved to take a picture. He's like, "How long have you been playing? Cam- uh, phones didn't have cameras." <laughs> My dad still had a pager. Cam- cam- cameras took film. Mm-hmm. And they made that... <laughs> okay, I'm not that uh, old. If, but... Well, if you use a flash. That's true. By the way, I hung up or, the... Or uh... better yet, a flash cube. You get four of them, then you have to chuck it. Yes. I uh, I hung the guitars up in between the other guitars. <laughs> uh, I had to clean up in here a little bit, even though it doesn't really look like it. Uh... Next. I can still see a floor. What do you want? That's true. I was going to put a ceiling fan in today, but I figure I didn't have time in case I ran into a snag because A, this light sucks, and B, it gets hot in here sometimes, and having the very silent fan in here would be very nice, especially yes. as we're going into the hot months. I digress. Yeah. Like, uh, like today was still 70 amidst the tornado. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really feel like dodging more traffic <laughs> and then coming home and trying to put a fan in and then the power pro- maybe going out <laughs> during it. Uh, that would be major blow. Yeah, it looked mine. It looked like mine blinked around noon. That was the worst of the storm. I'm glad you said that because I'm I'm going to every five minutes save this just in case it flickers. I think I, I think, I think now's I think now's going to be good. But saw someone posted on the face basement hill page that they got caught in a tornado and it flipped their car mm. while they're in it. Jesus, that's how do you explain that to your insurance company? Uh, hi, here's today's weather report at <laughs> midday. Uh, so that happened. That's how. <laughs> That's why you have comprehensive coverage. Yeah. When, when nature strikes back. We haven't gotten a tornado warning in a long time, so I guess we were due. Uh, Charlotte-based Hisho Sushi opens their first sushi slash craft beer bar in Brighton, Michigan. What? Uh, yep. I didn't know his show was based here because I keep seeing that pop up everywhere. It's just like, yeah, only the <clears throat> finest and pre-made sushi on the cheap. Yeah. It's, it, it's always been totally okay. And evidently, this will be the first craft beer slash sushi place that isn't Akahana in Plaza Midwood. But, huh. <laughs> but that's not that's not a th- – they have sushi, but they're uh-huh. more of just of a Japanese restaurant. Right. But but this no, is a sushi and craft beer, which right, sounds you've awesome. Got, you know, buy one, get one free. Um <laughs> Works for me. Um, I love sushi, but I feel like it's one of those tricky meals. Like if you're prone to overeating, sushi's a bad idea because you think, "Oh, I'll get two roll, two rolls that have eight pieces in it. That's not going to be enough. I can munch on something else." But then you eat it, and then you go, "Fuck me, I'm full." <laughs> it just swell all that rice, and the rice paper just swells up in your stomach. But um, food line sushi actually not horrible, not great, not horrible. If you were in the mood no, for sushi, if you could pick it up for five bucks, do it. Usually, uh, grocery store sushi on the cheap doesn't suck. No, does your Paris Teeter up the way do five dollar Fridays? Uh, I've noticed that at a lot of Harris Teeters, by the way. Oh. So, hey, that's tomorrow. You know, if you get a moment, check it out. <laughs> All right, Steve. As much as you hate shopping at Rival Store, hey man, <laughs> the distance is right. But the savings, <laughs> yeah, like eighty dollars you saved. 16 packets of cheap sushi <laughs> that would last three days Steve 2019 saw craft beer ups and downs the sales were up most of the time but macro sales have gone way down which is why you see the macros trying to take over the micros but fragmentation seems to be the problem because there's so much competition between wines uh, spirits and then hard seltzers hard teas hard coffee hard kombuchas Hard CBD drinks, which... Pardon? Uh, yeah. And hard coconut water. Hey, do you want your the pee to what? taste alcoholic? Like, coconut water tastes like urine. So, I imagine. 
I've allegedly I've never heard of the CBD, oh, CBD drink, drink or drink. a hard. Does that taste like weed? Like uh, a, a hamperer is not a pleasant beer to drink. No, <laughs> and the only one that did it right was the um, what was it? Um, not was it Terrapin or was it Sweetwater's four twenty G3- strain? The the G thirteen. Yeah, the stout. I didn't like that. I one. I liked that one. I liked that one, but I'm I'm kind of old school. I. I I would prefer me and every one of my friends to have their THC consumption to be vaporic or edible and not liquid. <laughs> so I think that's a that's a CBG stamp of approval. Uh, but- I've been <laughs> I've been dabbing dabbling with a uh, a CBD uh, cream for joint pain. Is it working? It for seems joint okay. Ha 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 ha. Uh yeah, just just in case it needs something way, like twice as expensive as lidocaine, sure. Mm, yeah, <laughs> if you get it at the the house brand uh, at all these uh, at all these competitors, lidocaine. <laughs> yeah, haven't seen that one yet. Uh, but oh yeah, speaking of grocery stores, Earth Fair is going out of business. Yep, no more twenty five dollar Roma tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Whole Foods will be happy to oblige. Twenty dollar Roma tomatoes. I've never been in an Earth Fair. Uh, ever been a Fresh Market? Same yeah, diff. I figured so. Um, it's pretty uh, yuppie. Although I discovered lately that if you subscribe to their newsletter, they'll randomly have 25% off an item. Hmm. Um, but now that the store is about to be kiboshed, I think now the entire store is at least 25% off. I dropped by to one South Park Tuesday, mm-hmm. and the entire meat department had been cleaned out. Jeez. Um, where was it in South Park? Uh, in our Barnes and Noble is just north of the mall. Yes, behind it. Okay, I may have seen. There's the like another before. like row of shops inward from Barnes and Noble is where it is. Like behind Yafo, got the okay, uh, Greek yeah, yeah. joint. That is Greek that joint's fantastic. Oh okay. yeah, I I couldn't tell you what I ate there, but I loved it. <laughs> uh, this my, my go to of ordering the special. Oh, yep. That was one of the best applications of that strategy. It's like I'm, I'm indecisive but adventurous. So here, here's some, I don't know, red pepper soup thing, but, and uh, I got that one for free because they took so long making it. Oh, so nice. I got, I got a full refund. It's like the eleven bucks, like back. Like here's your food, and here's your eleven dollars back. It's like, thank you. Uh, that was long enough ago. That was when Kayla and I were house shopping December of 17. I can't We spent the entire day exploring, trying to find some place to rent, only to land on something completely different. The, the way time goes by, like it does, boggles my mind. That like, rush song's full of shit. Time does not stand still. <laughs> you know what you said you didn't know what you were eating? Do you remember the episode of, it was the Vietnam special? On uh, Top Gear, or uh, top, yeah, Top Gear, and he Clark's is sitting there eating. He goes, "What noise did this make when it was alive? Did it go tweet tweet? Did it go moo? Or did it go rough rough?" <laughs> he goes, I don't know, but it's delicious. <laughs> but you're you're right about the special. Like it went in doubt. Like the specials usually, if uh, you know, it, the specials usually cheap, and it's usually not a regular menu item. So. It's usually not a bad choice. I don't think I've Tesco, ever had a bad Tesco notwithstanding, this is that standard menu items on the super cheap. Like get get the six dollar this or six dollar that. Uh I'll take that and give me the turf and turf with uh, black yep. beans and rice. Yep. And, and I think they have the same specials all the time because we're there it, on it, the same days. It, it seems <laughs> they're rotating four different categories. You know, do you want the burritos and enchiladas or Jimmy quesadilla or like one with the other mm-hmm. beef or chicken yep. choice of beans choice of rice choice of not getting the shitty weird waiter by sitting at the bar uh, and so good so far that's it. been the best strategy it's the only strategy and either a oh. cool bartender or a cool bartender oh no yes one one hot and cool one not hot and cool but still very cool <laughs> so steve molson Coors acquires at water brewing company my old dentist <laughs> what the fuck, Detroit? <laughs> oh, it is, it's, that's I another think, Michigan. I think so. Mm, I don't. I 
I'm I'm fairly it, certain it, at this point in my I life I've had Atwater. The only the only reason that rings a bell is because that was my dentist name growing up, but that's been since the '80s. <clears> so um, I, I don't remember anything specific about the beers, but it was probably the saucer. Mm-hmm. But 15 years and 15 plates later. I'm not remembering a whole lot. Probably 15 brain cells gone to. I'm being conservative. That's my conservative estimate. Um, Ew. Yeah, for real. Um, by the way, Troy posted today. It said, it said uh, well, after 30 years of being on the air, I didn't know uh, lung cancer could get Rush Limbaugh could spew. I didn't know lung, a side effect of lung cancer was spewing bullshit for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was uh, was uh, Rush Limbaugh winning the the. A medal of honor is like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer winning a culinary award. <laughs> <laughs> it's only really awkward that Al Franken, rest in peace, had a book titled Rush Limbaugh is a Big Fat Idiot. <laughs> yeah. When did he die? His career. Yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> when did it die? Last year? Uh, it's been a couple Two of years. years. It was hmm. at the beginning of Ask Grab Gate. Well, you know, I liked him because you know why? He was good enough smart enough, and doggone it, people liked him. He was just on Conan O'Brien's podcast, which is how and why our numbers are never going to survive, because now the celebrities are getting the game, too. Well, yeah, but H3H3 is popular, and it's not like they were Pardon? celebrities. Who the, huh? Ethan and something. To, to, uh, it's It's a podcast. They're not famous people, but they're they're famous now for some reason. I don't even care about being famous. I've never even heard of these people. <laughs> not famous enough for Stu. Oh, tr- trouble is, like I've got a thousand subscriptions on my tablet, Jesus. but there's still plenty more out there. Yeah, I only keep the the phone at about a hundred, but I, I don't use the phone for podcasts much. Was, just basically to see like basically what's on the top one hundred, and right. then cross reference on the tablet to listen off of it. So then I'm fucking it up and killing its battery instead. God forbid someone actually needs to contact me. How was Conan's podcast? It's fun. Okay. Uh, it's titled He Needs a Friend, which Uh-oh. is funny when somebody he already knows is on there. <laughs> the, the- uh, but it doesn't have the best sign off, which is on Adam Farrar's new podcast. 30 minutes, you'll never get back. Um, th- is Conan's sidekick the same sidekick he has on the Conan O'Brien show? No, oddly enough, Andy Richter has his own. Uh, Jesus because Christ. Because why not? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Conan O'Brien's sidekick is the same sidekick from the James Bond podcast who had been the sidekick from the Nerdist podcast. So it's Matt Meyer, Matt Gorley. Okay. And he's awesome. And there's a, another co-host on there. They're all quite verbally abusive of one another. I imagine. So. I mean, entertainingly so. Wink. Well, yeah. Well, guy, guys will sit there and call each other asshole and, and dumbass, and then women will sit there and pretend to like each other in person, and then call those same names to their to each other behind their backs. But, um, you know, Conan O'Brien's like six foot six. Yep, he's huge. And Gorley's six three. We can only uh, stead. I say six one because I count my hair. I just say I'm six foot negative two. <laughs> Steve, last up, uh, this doesn't sound like any lottery i am ever been familiar with, so I will continue. Suntory. Yes? Japanese whiskey is selling a 55-year-old bottle of their Yamazaki whiskey by lottery. So you enter. Oh, there's only 100 bottles. The mm-hmm. lottery is free to enter if you live in Japan. You just have to have a Japanese address. Short that. But if you win the lottery, then you have the option to buy the bottle. And it's $28,000. Now, Steve, I'm fairly... I know how lotteries work. And can, I'm not I, can I get my R33 with that get, for that price? No, what the be hell? A for that. Um, but it's personalized with your name to prevent reselling. You, but... I've got an engraver. I don't, I don't think... I don't think the word lottery translates very well into Japanese at this point. Uh, I don't think they understand what I that means. I think that would be a, an, more or less an eligibility lottery, much like a daycare lottery, to be allowed the opportunity to participate in this thing is another definition of lottery versus you won the lottery, you won the bottle. Yeah. Well, 
that's certainly costing some poor bastard an awful lot for this 55 year bottle of whatever. I wonder what that tastes like. Probably good because it's Suntory, but you brought Suntory on here before, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. That's it's, what I thought it was. It's quite good. That's yeah. how it and I got my brother and sister in law a bottle of their gin for Christmas, but I haven't tried that one yet. Hmm. Japanese gin. Jinpanese. Jinpani. Yeah, Jinnies. Uh, Ginger, please. <laughs> that's their word. We can't say that. I can't. I, oh, boy, God. Like, that's the same thing as, like, the Ford GT owner. Like, when the new GT came out, they sent letters uh, to the, the former. It was a two-year hiatus mm-hmm. um, on resale of new GTs. And was it John Cena got mired up in something like that? He did, but I don't. I think they ruled that it was not an enforceable contract. So, um, I think he didn't have to pay. How, how do you how do you say that without saying it? The, it Bullshit. You, I think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's right. Well, Steve, that's all I got for craft beer news this week. So, do we delve into our car uh, topic, or do we delve into 1991 albums and music? Uh, we had a car topic. Yeah. We had, we had an idea best. and then... Uh, no, we didn't have that, a car time. No, like, it was two music It was topics. best engines and then how we did that again. Yeah. Wait, uh, no, we were going to okay. do the best, uh, the, the best band logo. Mm-hmm. But I think we should do 91 first and, okay. and get a little bit plastered uh, before we do the band logos. I have my band we're, logos. We're going to drink until we can read black metal band logos. Is that it? Fuck, I don't my, have My enough. friend, which is the, uh, the, the tree limbs going every which way. <laughs> That's the black metal version of Days of the New. Um, we I was think I had my car emblems and my band logos mixed up, uh, which we've already did the uh, we already decided the Alfa mm-hmm. Romeo logo was the best one of all time, and I think we did the honorable mention of the Sneaky Pete Viper logo, not the upside down Daffy Duck from the Gen Two Gen Threes. <laughs> Albums, 1991, Steve. I already know, we already know Nevermind was on there. Bad Motorfinger uh, was released in 91. Is Blood Sugar Sex Magic 91, or is that 92? It might be 91. 91 sounds right. 91. Um, Is R.E.M.'s Out of Time? I'm trying to think before I actually look at the list. Uh, That sounds right. Oh, here it is. Okay. My Bloody Valentine Loveless. I've never heard anything by them. Uh, it's very shoegazy. Okay. Uh, it might it might put you to sleep. It it's it's good, but pretty chilled out. Okay. Um, I got Act Tongue Baby from U two, nineteen ninety one. Um, what was on Act Tongue? Was Mysterious Ways on that? Uh, it's been a while since I went to being back. Eh, I'll click on it. So you have. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, uh, one was on there. Uh, Mysterious Ways was on there. Um, it's all right. It's all right. That's the only one I recognize on here. The only two I recognize on here. So Cruel, The Fly, uh, Acrobat. But, yep, November 18th, 1991. That was a fun time for me to not quite turn 10. <laughs> uh, Metallica, The Black Album. Yes. I hate to be I hate to be kind of commercial, but I think that might be my favorite Metallica album. It's like, hey man, you sold out. Yeah, we sell all the stadiums we play. Shut up. Well, you can't put if you put the same album out all the time, you're ACDC. Or Slayer. Motorhead. Motorhead. 311 kind of does to a different point, but they're doing a 50 dates and 50 states tour. I saw something that they're touring with Incubus. Mm-hmm. Uh well, so there is some merit to that tour then. Oh, you don't like three eleven? Oh, okay, I do. I like certain songs. I like the singles, and then there's M- a song called like Five I, of Everything. I'm, I'm not a big weed head, therefore I can't appreciate three one one. Well, that's true, and I also don't. Uh, I'm not a big Sublime guy though. Do you like Sublime? More than three eleven? Really? Oh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even better than real thing was on. Octane Baby. Oh, I didn't see that on there. I'm using the metric system today. Yeah. Use Your Illusion 1. I didn't realize that was 91. I thought I was I like... I think it was... Yeah, it's... it's... 
both of them? I, I don't know. I was thinking 91 sounds right because the running gag was Chinese democracy took too long to was the most expensive album never released and then finally was released and then realized I had bootlegged all these tracks already. It's like, well, that, so for what it's worth, they could have saved a lot of time by already releasing this. <laughs> Apparently, it would not. It would not take the IRS to release that album. No. But yeah, I think the Use Your Illusions were both ninety one, mm-hmm. and there was a Walmart only merger of the two that was simply Use Your Illusion. Mm-hmm. So technically, that makes three Guns N' Roses <laughs> Use Your Illusion albums. Use Your Illusion two, two or two point five or one point five. I don't need average. I don't need your Civil War. <laughs> I saw a show about war anyway. Yeah. Thanks, Winston. Uh, Blood Sugar Sex Axel. Magic was 91. Yay. And you got you got your list up? Uh, That timed out. Ooh. I was too busy chasing you too. Whoops. Oh, thanks, Steve. Oh, the band. Sorry. Never mind. thought you meant me uh, also. Ozzy's No More Tears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now they're doing the No More Tours tour. Uh-huh. The second time around. You know, it, it ain't over till they're dead. Mm, it's true. Which I have something to say about that. It's like people are like, they don't need the money, man. Why are they doing it? Because that's what people fucking do that you know, love music. They like to play music. And, like, you know, if people are still showing up, they're going to keep playing. Even fucking better. You think I would keep playing gigs if I had to play gigs to empty fucking bar? Like, of course I would. We got another gig at Noda. We're playing the Goodwill Hopping release in June. Ooh. Mm. And he said, so I need somebody reliable. Can y'all do it? I'm like, fuck yes, I'd love to be. Cool, I need, I need a venue that's reliable. <laughs> <laughs> shots fired. <gasps> you get are. caught in the shots fired. They are reliable. Shots fired. Shots fired! All right. Ten, Pearl, Pearl Jam. I just had that too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a Tribe Called Quest, the low end theory. <laughs> Never mind. Naked baby dick. How on earth? Did, Did that, that get, fly? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, Naked Baby Dick's another good punk band. <laughs> That's my tribute. <laughs> we are Naked Baby Dick. <laughs> Primal Scream, Screamadelic. Uh, saw them a couple years ago at Neighborhood Theater. How I, I was trippy was that? Not prepared for that one. <laughs> Which is real fun to see. Some advertisement had their big song, uh, Moving On Up. Yes. Uh, I was just like, hey, Anthony, are you aware of this? Uh, Cypress Hill, uh, Epidemonious, Epidemonious, same, yeah. same word. Can't. Massive yeah. Attack had an album in 91? They've been around that long? Jesus. Called Blue Lines. Not Blurred Lines. Blue Lines. Which is the, uh, the train in Charlotte, isn't it? The Blue Line. Yep. Um, De La Soul. De La Soul is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Seal Eponymous. Nice. That was a word. Okay. Ma- Mama said by Living Kravitz before he got huge. Mm-hmm. Because he had several albums before uh, Going My Way. That's a great song, by the way. Diamonds and Pearls. Prince. I love that song. Is it a boy or a squirrel? Teenage Fan Club. Bandwagon-esque. I don't know who that is. Teenage Neither, Fan Club. Fantastic title. The Pocket Full of Kryptonite by the Spin Doctors. Oh, my goodness. That was colossal for a limited time. Um, NWA, in words for life. I shan't repeat the word, <laughs> but it's well, with a Z it, at the end instead it, of an S. Oh, that makes it legit. I'm um, kind of. Uh, Matthew Sweet's Girlfriend. I didn't know that song was that old. I remember yeah. that from the alt station back in the day. Yeah. Trump de Monday. Trump, Trump and Le from the Pixies. Qua? Wait, I thought Pixies folded in 88. That would ever. Well, maybe a reunion, reunion, reunion tour? I don't know. Gish. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Let me out. <clears throat> Into the Great Wide Open by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Ah, okay. Ooh, I have this one on tape. Time, What's Love, and that? Tenderness by Michael Bolton. Was, um... Cause he's the was it how am I supposed to live without you on that? Uh, mm. Was that or Shit, the other one? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was like, that, it, it, like one year at Christmas, my sister dug up the tapes. Like, hey, you want these? Like, yes, I do. <laughs> so somewhere I still have. Uh, 
both those tapes, and now only one fun. We could listen to them. Hey, what, at least one at my house now after I donated my GE boombox of 27 years. Fantastic. And, like, mm-hmm. and then looked it up on eBay. It's like, all right, this is going to be worth 30 bucks to somebody. <laughs> oh, wait, this has been relisted a bunch. Yeah, so it really is worthless. Everything will eventually sell. Eventually. Mm. Oh. No, it's, well, eBay does the whole IP stalking thing. Right. So uh, it's like, oh, yeah, is the GE whatever still of interest? It never was in the first place. I want to see, like, hey, is this worth anything? It wouldn't be worth the shipping on it. No. You know, it's, it's gotten old and finicky, and like you know, just the volume, it it it's, it crinkles at you. It you has double, double cassettes and the auxiliary port in, not a built-in CD player, because it took a few more years for those to take hold. Oh yeah. First two tapes I had on it were MC Hammer's "Please Hammer Don't Hurt 'Em" <laughs> and the Top Gun soundtrack. Because I was a boy of fine taste at 11 years old. You have to be. <clears throat> so we got Hole, Pretty on the Inside. Have you ever heard of a band called Slint? Negative. <clears throat> Spiderland is the name of the album. Uh, I fucking don't know. Ice T and Ice Cube both had albums. Sailing the Seas of Cheese by Primus. Fuck yes. Talk Talk. Have you heard of them? Uh, yes, and that's not ringing a bell right now. Laughing Stock is the name of uh, that album. Then Dinosaur Jr.'s Green Mind, which Dinosaur Jr. had a very popular single, and I can't remember the name of it right now. Because it sounds like this here. Can't understand the words he's saying. Ooh, Slave to the Grind, Skid Row. Ooh, I think I've done that at karaoke. And they had 18 and Life was on there too, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Amy Grant, Heart in Motion. That was one of the family CDs I saw. Baby, I baby. Dude, she t- was cute. Uh, I like that song. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I fucking do. I know she's a Jesus freak, but the song's fucking good. It's catchy. It's a good poppy tune. And at least you can understand what she's saying. Dangerous from Michael Jackson. That was a big one. Uh... Slow drive? I don't know who slow drive is. Uh, another shoegazy thing. For unlawful carnal knowledge. Sl- slow drive or slow dive? Dive. Uh, all right, yeah, that's shoegazy. Adam introduced me to them. Uh, yeah, Van Halen's fuck. Yes. Right now, hey, there's no that that that, that video. video. <laughs> <laughs> Science is building a better tomato. <laughs> Nice implant you got there. <laughs> that video might be the title of this episode. <laughs> just, what is the description? That video. That video. The um the other part on the video is the guy that says, right now someone has the wrong idea, and it was a homeless guy that has a sign that says, I will wrestle you for food. Right now I'm beavis and butthead. Wait, what, what's with this video? <laughs> Too many words in it. <laughs> I don't read my video. Settle down, beavis. Uh, the orb. I oh. don't. Tupac. If, if, it's not or, if it's not orbital, I can't help you. Tupacalypse. Tupacalypse now. Yes. Uh, Genesis. We can't dance. Oh yeah. Oh, that must have been Queen's last album, ninety one. And you window. Um. Yeah, that was not before AIDS got them. Ah. Uh, oh my goodness. The right. Ghetto Boys. We can't be stopped. All right. So Ghetto Boys album. I cover. was only aware of them <clears throat> from the. Office Space soundtrack. Yes, their album cover. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna blow it up, but if you can see it, it's them with um, I forgot the guy's name, the midget. He got shot, and their album cover is them rolling him into the hosp into the in the hospital again. That's <laughs> and it's we can't be stopped. Goodness, that's fucking bad ass. Uh, I would imagine that walking in Memphis, Mark Cohn, named for Mark Cohn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The, a, apparently a very mean motherfucker to have a one-hit wonder. Uh, I've heard that, too. Ooh, Spellbound from Paula Abdul. Fear by Toad the Wet Spracket. That was probably their first album. Big one. Was Walk on the Ocean earlier than All I Want? And uh, It was going to go with Something's Always Wrong. I've always loved that song. Great song. It's one of my favorites to, uh, to play. Morbid Angel, Blessed Are the Sick. Naughty by Nature, White by Choice, by Naughty by Nature. <laughs> That's just fantastic. a totally rip off a of Bloodhound Gang lyric with that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Arise, Sepultura. 
Fuck yes. Right before KSAD. Oh yes. Because um, God. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I know because they were pretty thrashy early on, and then it got to the new metal scene. Uh huh. Um, but. I wish my brother George was here by Del the Funky Homo Sapien. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've heard of the artist, but not the album title. That's just, just funny. The Funky Homo Sapien. Uh, three, spelled I-I-I by Sebado. How do you know it's not E? I! Uh, crowded House, Woodface. Electronic, Electronic. Not ringing a bell. CMB, call me bad. Oh, go oh my God, dream on, dream away. Uh, Chris Rock had a bit about the things like color me bad was here last year at the Grammys. Where are they at now? Here today, gone today. <laughs> uh, Human by death, the death metal band, not the black punk act from 1975, uh, which makes looking them up on Spotify real confusing. One moment it sounds like if Jimi Hendrix is playing Dead Kennedys, and yeah. the next moment they're both them and their guitars are screaming. Yeah, um, I've never heard of uh, or, oh fuck, I just lost Jesus Lizard Goat. Never heard of that before in my entire uh, life. I've heard of the Jesus Lizard, but nothing specific. I got gotcha. you. And then Neil Young had one, but I'm not a. I cannot understand why Neil Young's popular. Because so is Bob Dylan. Fair. I'd rather listen to Neil Young. I'd rather listen to my own firing squad. Uh, I'd rather listen to Neil Diamond. Yes, uh, organized confusion, which we listened to on here one time because we didn't know what it was, and it was really fucking cool ass hip hop. Uh. Mr. Big. Fuck yeah. I want to be with you. I want to be the next to be. By the way, that's a really shitty song. I want to be the next to be with you. I'm not the only one. I want to be the next dude. Might be a line of dudes waiting to smash you, but I want to be the next guy. Like, <laughs> no, Sometimes being uh, retrospective in my lyrics. lyrics are, you see what I mean? Yeah. Next song, song ruiner, song ruiner, song ruiner. <sighs> With your host, AJ Holt. <laughs> Emily, that's what Emily calls me. <laughs> Super Chunk. No Pocky for Kitty. <laughs> I've not listened to any Super Chunk. Uh, I keep getting them and Supergrass mixed up. But not Super Tramp. No. Uh, that's. Is that logical? No, I'll just get them confused with yes. Oh, you, Super Tramp had the song Logical, the logical song. Um, which I fucking hate to love, but it, it happens. Too legit to quit from Hammer. Shower. Yes. I thought there Wait, was. That one. was 91? 91. Yeah. Too legit to quit was 91. What was Hammer Town? 90? Must have been. He must have like cranked them out back to back. Unless it was that 89. Was a, that was a funny Super Bowl ad. The Can't Touch that, His Cheetos. That was funny as fuck, actually. <laughs> Those those commercials are getting, they're just getting dumber. Like they're not funny anymore. They're just like that one was good. Unless like there's that and uh, the Bostonian actors trying to pack the car. Packing the car. It's like I never knew any of these people were from Boston, so this is really strange. I don't. I didn't know they were either, but I know they all used to be on Saturday Night Live. So I I don't know. Uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince Home Base. Don't try this at home, Billy Bragg. Who's Billy Bragg? Old school punker. Huh. And you warm your heart by Aaron Neville. I like Aaron Neville. <laughs> he, had the, he had that very distinctive... I wonder if he's still alive. Maybe? Uh, I can tell you that Luther Vandross <laughs> was not after the power of love. What's up, Hugh Lewis? Who's retiring? Oh, uh, Jesus Jones. Doubt. I already said that, didn't I? Uh, don't believe so. Was that right here, right now? That was a I think, cool song. I like it. Was, that was if I when I think of like quintessential '90s songs, because it was on every yeah. compilation album. Like, get all these songs today, Jock right Jones. here, right yeah. now. Jock James Volume Six. 
Is it Jock Jams or Jock Rock? Because there was two different things. It was going to be more the rappy side or more the rocky side. You do. That's just how ESPN is able to sell everything to you. Please only do. fifteen dollars a pop. I'm out of albums, so I'm going to take Jock Jams, and I want you to take the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I take Jock, Jock Straps. <laughs> Jock Jams Volume 1. It lifts and separates. It's Jock Jams. Jock Straps. <laughs> Whoa. We need to have a really cheesy, shitty radio montage of like uh, stuff to introduce us. By the way, I donated to Bernie's campaign. Today. I've never donated to any political campaign today, and I donated right. to Bernie today. Oh, WTG. Thank you. I feel good about myself. Some of our uh, far right... <laughs> Folks that listen to this may not appreciate that, but it's my money. I'll donate it. Fuck then fine, I'll donate to Mitt Romney as well. Fuck yes. <laughs> not every hero wears a Mormon magic underwear. I have Jock Jams Volume 1 up, Steve. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble from Michael Buffer. And it's just him saying that. And it's 26 seconds. And it's just him saying that at the beginning of... Boxing yeah, matches. because it's let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. Uh, apparently, that is a copyrighted phrase. Mm-hmm. And when Futurama did it, they said, "Let's get ready to commence rumbling." <laughs> <laughs> Close, but no cigarette. Yes. No. Which one did you had? Jock what? Jock rock. Jock rock. Jock straps. Okay. okay. You get you what? What? I I, I did. I did one. You do one. And the home of the Whopper, <laughs> Brave. Ca- cowardly. Oh, by who? It's just the phrase oh. is the title of it. Okay, uh, how to kick off every ball game. Oh, okay, I got you. Get ready for this. No, it's like our <clears throat> the uh, official end of the national anthem is not the home of the brave, but the words "play ball." <laughs> I got get ready for this from two unlimited. We will rock you by Queen. That yeah, strike it up from Black Box. I don't know what that is. Never had a Black Box before, but. Charge! That's the whole thing. Yeah. God damn it! Oh my goodness, Steve. Sixty nine boys. Butterfly, no, no, that's old. Let me see that. Tootsie Roll. <laughs> hey, I got one. <laughs> Is it a Tootsie Roll pop or a Blitzkrieg bop by the remote? Oh, fuck yes. I always said, thought always said, let's drink pop. <laughs> <laughs> let's go drink some pop. <laughs> let's go drink some pop. We're not in the Midwest. We call it a Coca-Cola. <laughs> let's go drink some pop. Yeah. Pump it up. Go ahead, go ahead. By the Jock Jams cheerleaders. <laughs> 17 seconds long. Uh, something that maybe didn't age terribly well considering his act- activities. Rock and Roll Part 2 by Gary Glitter and the Pederasses. Mm, G- Gary we're a, Diddler. We're a month away from the Jesus Rolls. The Big Lebowski follow-up movie. Oh my goodness. I, I'm not a proponent of going to the movies, but I might go to that one. <laughs> Steve, Emily, we're gonna go see this. What is it? You'll see. But she liked the Big Lebowski, though. Okay. Yeah. So she liked that one. Um, come, baby, come from K Seven. Uh, how many Ks are in that one? Just one K Seven. Uh, it's the regular where, come. Where my dad's hang up on the Kumho tire brand. Mm-hmm. Like they, they might make good tires, but I don't want Kumho stamped on the side of my tire. It's Kumho. <laughs> I was raising Canton. That shit's come ho. That's, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, track six, let's go. It's like, which is weird because that hey. should have coincided with Blitzkrieg Bach, which was track four. Anyway, who? Well, I don't think. I bet you if we saw the people who made these albums, we'd go, okay, we'll give them a pass because they clearly don't know. And they, it's funny because this is a bunch of stuff that still pops up at every basketball event ever. So uh, yeah. they were on the something back in 94. It uh, it takes two from Rob Bass and DJ EZ Rock. It, it takes, takes two, two to make a thing go right. right. Yeah, that. <clears throat> it takes two to make out of sight. How did we go from 91 to Jock Jams? And <laughs> it's our show and we'll derail as we see fit. It's which reminds sec- me, my new favorite Switch game uh, is... <laughs> 
I call it train derailer because are you, you have like managed switch tracks? By Amtrak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's this really simplistic drawn art style, but yeah, you, you could speed it up and make the trains crash into each other more quickly. It's awesome. Fuck yes. <laughs> uh, Mooney Mooney by Joe Tommy Pony. Janes and the Shondells. Mooney Mooney, which was later co-opted by Billy Idol. Mm-hmm. Who did the sneer? Can you sneer? Uh huh. Oh yeah, gotta make you sweat. Everybody dance. CC Music Factory. Freedom Williams. Do you know who Freedom oh, Williams? Sex you up. Whatever. Free- yeah, that was I want to sex you up. Free delay. Um, Freedom Williams looks um like a fucking monster now. He is like a body. He's like a good looking fucking built ass black dude. <laughs> like you never would have guessed because he like was real skinny and dressed in nineties attire, which was. An Spe- interesting speaking time. of, you hear the uh, Terry Crews on WTF? I did. That was rad. I liked it. I like Terry Crews. Uh, but his, his, I think his favorite saying was, you got to understand. Because you got to understand by then. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very big dude. Very nice guy, too. I got. Like, he might have been terrible at NFL, but hey, who else can play on seven teams? True. I got hip hop hooray. Ho. Hey. Uh, Shotgun by Junior Walker under the All Stars. I want to say Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker would be a good All Star. Um, too bad I never cared for those whiskeys. Mm. I think I've only had red and black, so there was my problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, pump up the volume, Mars. Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Oh, not pump, not the pump. no FX pump up the volume. I like that. <laughs> I need or to get a punk. Uh huh. Really do. I, I could I would hope I could help you now. Uh he shoots, he scores. All right. Uh uh Ungawa from the Jock Jams cheerleaders again. Fourteen seconds. Do not know that. Wow, I feel good by James Brown. All right. Uh the power snap. I don't know what that is either. I got the power. I would oh, I hope got so. The power. I'm ah. making that assumption. It's been a long time since I've heard these CDs, but uh, yeah. I'm going to go with that. Followed by, who wants a hot dog? <laughs> That's how I used to pick and up I've girls. Still got, <laughs> and I've still got four more of these non sequiturs. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> um, see, the things you say. They're unbelievable? Yep, from... Letters. Electromagnetic field. <laughs> EMF. Tequila. The chance. Da, 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 I know da, da, da. all the words. You too? <laughs> yeah. What's up, Pee Wee Herman? Yeah. <laughs> YMCA, village people. I know that dance. Make some noise! <laughs> uh, pump up the jam from Technotronic. Pump. Up the jam. Pump it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Dance to the Music by Sly and the Family Stone. Huh. That song fucking rules. <laughs> Twilight Zone from Two Unlimited. Oh, uh, not Golden Earring? No, not Golden Earring. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very different Twilight Zone. <laughs> by Rod Serling. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the ultimate buzzkill. <laughs> you will come to know... When the bullet hits the bone. Uh, yeah. It's, the song is complete nonsense, but I really like it. <laughs> and then the only overlap we've had so far is, is Rock and Roll Part 2. So what's, what's left on yours? Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Ah. Is that it for that one? Yeah, that's all Jock Jams okay, Volume I've 1. Still we got, have Jock Jams Volume. I, I've still I, I've got to say something <coughs> for the next step. Uh, okay. I've still got several more. <laughs> Defense! <laughs> Defense! What I Like About You by The Romantics. <coughs> Shout by the Isley Brothers. You know, every wedding reception ever. It, bad for your knees. Taking Care of Business by BTO. Hmm. Three Point Goal. <laughs> Screen's off. Uh, I Don't Want to Work. I Want to Bang on the Drum All Day. I don't know. That's Todd Rundgren. I keep hearing that name pop up, but I don't know who the hell he is. No idea. I... Well, there is that song, and it's apparently not the Talking Heads. Nah, nah, hey, hey, kiss him goodbye by Steam. Huh. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. That's played it. That's in the ball game. 
Dead by. <laughs> and da 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 da. Your sports center theme. Yes. I'm on Jock James Volume 2 now, Steve. Oh, shit. Welcome Lord, to the big Lord's show. Or it's going all in? No. Yes, might as well. No right. limit. Too unlimited. I don't remember that one. Um, I guess it was limited. Everybody, everybody from Black Box again? No. I have no idea. Here's one I do know. One, two, three, four, something new with Coolio. One, two, three, four. Get your woman on the floor. Gotta, yeah, gotta, gotta get, get up, get, get it down. down. Yeah. yeah. Gotta get up and get down. <laughs> Fucking jock jams. I cannot fucking believe that I'm sitting here with you <laughs> discussing jock jams. Jack jams rock strap. <sighs> jock strap jams. Ouch. <laughs> that, that's your that's your alternate title. <laughs> jock strap jams. <laughs> <laughs> Do not rock. <laughs> jock strap jams volume ouch. <laughs> uh, some episodes are different than others. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. This is how we do it from Montel Jordan oh. Williams. Montel Jordan, not Montel uh, Williams. He's, one's a singer, one's a host, whatever. Montel Jordan is six foot ten. Pardon? <laughs> he, he's a big dude. I think he also beat the shit out of his girlfriend. So he he, he was a one hit wonder. <laughs> well, two hit wonder. <laughs> is that in poor taste? Or is the new T-shirt Hell shirt in bad taste? Where they have a shirt that says, with the Jordan logo, it says "Fly like Michael, not Kobe." Whoa! That I was like, they uh, got. I was like, they got that in press, like or in like print, very quickly. Like the, on Farah's Instagram, he had a picture of the helicopter that was Kobe's final ride. Like, oh my holy goodness! Fuck nuggets! Yeah, that's bad. Uh, the Macarena's on here. It's not a jock jam. Uh, it still pops up too. Yeah, but uh, oh yes, I like to move it, move it. Which was that the? Uh... No, it was peanut butter jelly time. Never mind. Where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> we have a... something, something baseball bat. We have a peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. We have got a girl at work whose little daughter loves that song. So when I see her now, I. I... Or, uh, I call the the girl Boots. Her name's Allie, and I call her daughter Little Boots, which is silly because she's wearing flip flops. No, she came to work wearing boots one time, so I called her Boots very early on. But I was like, "Hey, Little Boots," and she turned around, and went, "Where are you at? Where are you at?" She'll go, "There he go. There he is, like four. <laughs> Fantastic. Really. Uh, this and that party, party over here, the, party the, over there. I think that's that the one. The sickle's weird. Yeah. What's next to you? Are you out of beer yet? Betcha. Uh, you want to pick the next one? Or, uh, or I'll pick the next one. Okay. Yeah, you pick the first one, I'll pick the next one. I'll just go spout off this track list on yes. Jack Rock Volume 2. Brought to you by 1995 and ESPN. <laughs> Serious, much like Black, by the Alan Parsons Project. In Fuego, a phrase by Dan Patrick. It's the final countdown, Job, by Europe. Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss. R-E-S-P-E-C-T by Aretha. Wooly Bully, Eli's favorite song by Sam Sham and the Pharaohs. Quote, The Homecoming Game. Hold On, I'm Coming by Sam and Dave. Lowrider by War. The Adams Family Theme by Ray Castoldi. We swear it's not the monsters. We can split that tall, tall boy. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Great Balls of Fire by Jerry Lee Lewis and his cousin. Awkward. Boy. Yeah, if you don't know about Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, just go ahead and look that up. <laughs> Those kids are as good as dead. Get Ready by Rare Earth. The Stadium Beat. By Chris Brown. <laughs> Whatever track 13 is, in quotes. Like, I want you back. By Jackson 5. He could go all the way. As quoted by Chris Berman. Nobody But Me by the Human Beings. B-E-A-I. Yeah. <laughs> B-E-I-N-Z. Ugh. That's painful. Uh, he, knows, he knows how to do the cool jerk. By the Capitals. You gotta ice your hand down first. The, the, the numb stranger? 
<laughs> <laughs> the William Tell Overture, also by Ray Castoldi. <laughs> Oh my Devil with a blue dress on slash could golly Miss Molly, Jesus. Miss Schreider, and the Detroit Wheels. Jesus. The 300 game. Oh, we have bowling involved with this. Twist and Shout by the Isley Brothers. Yeah. Louie Louie by the Kingsman, a subject of FBI investigation. <laughs> and We Are the Champions by Queen. Uh, and that was the second volume of yours. <laughs> yes. Good Lord. <laughs> This there was a lot more obs- weird, weird shit. There's a lot of obscure shit on this one too. Like so I've never even heard of most of this shit. There's Get Down Tonight from KC and the Sunshine Band, but mm-hmm. um, Boom 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 from the Out Here Brothers. Uh, um, <clears throat> I'm more of the one by the Vinga Boys. <clears throat> boom boom boom! I want you in my room. Yeah, no, super. Here's a couple. Yeah, a couple more. Oh, Steve, we have got a new booze. Why don't you tell everybody about it? That you drank it. Boogity, 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 boogity. Draft Happiness by Foothills Brewing, the Dream IPA. Brewed to recognize the power of kids, dreams, and aspirations. Well, I haven't seen any unicorns around, so keep dreaming, kiddo. Foothills Brewing. Each month, Craft Happiness Project features a new IPA. Unique in character, dedicated to raising awareness and funds for a collective need. So have a beer and help us make our planet a little, yeah, our little better place, a little better place. <laughs> One beer at a time. In the meantime, Steve needs literacy lessons. <laughs> hey, man, it's working. That's not on the job description, so you're good. Oh, you've had it, so you've had it already. Is it good? No, I should drink the rest of this so you don't need to. That was the tallest tall boy I've ever seen, so. Uh, this is weighing in at 19.2 fluid eyes. <laughs> And the other one and was six point four percent of the one pint. So, and this is a 16. pint plus three. Cool. Uh, come on, ride the train from the Quad City DJs. I'm on number three now, buddy. And ride it. Uh, I'm on two thousand <laughs> because oh, it Lord. went Jack Rock one, Jack Rock two, Jack Rock two thousand, but it came out in ninety nine because fuck math. <laughs> well, the same way the magazines like. There's magazines now that are like, January of 2021. I'm like, no, that's not how this shit fucking works. Stop doing that. Uh, Ready to Go from Republica. I like that song. It always reminds me of Vegas Vacation. Because she's dancing when she's dancing on the. uh, I've seen it in bits and pieces. I'm going to Vegas again next week. Do you need to watch Vegas Vacation again? I very well might. Uh, I like it like that from Tito Neves. You remember that one? Vaguely. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Yes, yeah, Steve. I put my hand up on your hip. And when, when I, I dip, dip, you dip, we dip. Yeah, bye. <sighs> Freak nasty. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten that. I, I was only going to say Quad City DJs only to know I'm going to be wrong. Yeah. Because that was the train and ride it. Yes. And that was just, yeah, I just said that way. <laughs> it's awesome, baby, from Dick Vitale. It's, it's just, awesome, baby! The capital A! My retinas are detached. <laughs> Have you seen that from The Simpsons? <laughs> uh, Grandpa's Simpson goes, I can't Wait, that, see that you. It's going to happen. He said, Maggie, I can't see you. No, Maggie, I really can't see you. My retinas have detached again. That, that's such a terrifying ailment. <laughs> that's the oh, way I like it, yeah, Steve. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, by Casey Sunshine. Uh-huh. Nice. Seems like the, the wines got more blurred as time went on in these. Let me clear my throat. Uh-huh, da na 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 no, 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 no. Uh, DJ Cool with a K. With a Kumo. Cigarette? Where did you come from, Steve? Where did you go? It's all here. from Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> <laughs> from Red Nicks. Uh, I left a Swedish band brought to you by the album Vex and Silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sex and Violins. That's what it was. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, The Chicken Dance from Ray Castoldi. I remember seeing an incredibly violent animated video set to that song. Please tell me it was a guy dressed as Colonel Sanders. It was like stick figures just 
blowing the shit out of each other. <laughs> it's incredible. You need to find it. It was like a techno version of the song. Oh my god. It it was just unbelievably violent. <laughs> <laughs> just cartoonish and hilarious. Super yeah. Super Sonic from Sabrina Sang. Uh, if it's not Oasis, I can't help you. Very true. And if it's Oasis, they can't help each other. <laughs> uh, uh, God damn it. Why am I yawning? I'm not even that tired. It rain does that to me. Now, now I'm on number four. There's yeah, f- baby. There's a fourth one? I haven't gotten through the third one of these and final. Steve, Jock, Jock Jams Volume 4 is, is the last one, but it begins with Yeah, Baby with, from Awesome Powers. Yeah, baby, yeah! Yes. Uh, the high school was fun. Thanks, Mike Myers. Uh, n- mo Money, Mo Problems from B- Biggie, which I don't really... I don't understand why that's on Jock Jams. That's not... Well, it's definitely more jammy than Rocky. Space Jam from the Quad City DJs. Um, raise the roof. Raise the roof. You got to raise the roof. It, you you may have heard it. <laughs> All right, Steve. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. Burn, burn motherfucker. Burn. What you got, Steve? All right. This is Jack Rock 2000, courtesy of the year 1999, because we're bad at math. <laughs> Let's get it on, Judge Mills Lane. <laughs> celebrity death match. Nice. They need to bring that shit back. Firestarter by The Prodigy. When Keith Flint died, I listened to lots of The Prodigy. <laughs> that was tough on the ears. Yeah. It's all about the Benjamins. What what? Rock remix. Puff Daddy featuring Little Kim, The Locks, and the Notorious Big. <laughs> Bike Pulls Sitta by Harvey Danger. Uh, evidently, Adam said their discography is actually awesome, but I haven't listened to anything else besides that one. Harvey Danger, they're yeah. quite good. Okay. Uh, Semi Charmed Life by Third Eye Blind. I could see that. And the rest of their catalog isn't. <laughs> one I week. I don't, hey, I like Graduate. <laughs> Can I? I barely did. I have nightmares I didn't. I'm same. Um, but I did Graduate. Very high in my class. But I like Graduate. How's it going to be? Although it's kind of slower, but. Uh, one week, BNL, the Bare Naked Ladies. It's a bunch of clothed Canadian dudes. I'm very confused. <laughs> uh, go fight, win, leisure creatures. Don't know that one. Ready to go, Republica. Oh yeah, they were quite good. Yeah, Machine Head, Bush. That was the song that got me into Bush for a brief amount of time. Mm. The Rockefeller Skank by Fatboy Slim. I have always oh, yes. loved that song. <laughs> it's complete nonsense. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. By Local H. So it was the other song of theirs that made it slightly big. Peppy Rock by BTK. Why the, on the earth? Fine Torture Killer? Exactly. <laughs> Block Rock and Beats by the Chemical Brothers. Zoot Suit Riot by the Cherry Poppin' Daddies. Throwing back a and bottle I of beer. don't think they're talking about fruits. <laughs> Walk This Way, Aerosmith featuring Run DMC. Yep. The Sports Center Mega Mix. Can't Wait One Minute More by Siv. Mm-hmm. Pump It Up, Ellis Costello. And Down for the Count, Judge Mills Lane. D- and like that's the-, the end of Jock Rock. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> let's see here. The last rendition of Jock And Jams. not one of these had Everybody Dance Now. Who's getting jiggy with it? T-shirt hell has a I'm not getting jiggy. I have Parkinson's. Doug Stanhope has the best one ever. Oh. Abortion is green. Everybody, back streets back. Yeah, which is funny because that was the first song of theirs I heard. Like, where were they? I was like, uh, it's like you're supposed to hate boy bands and all, but this song's fucking catchy. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> it's the same way when they say something's new and improved. If it's new, how can it be improved? Uh, going out of my head from Fat Boy Slim. And I'm not sure I know hey, that, that, that doesn't ring a bell. No one pushes us around from J.K. Simmons. Uh, the 
the bald white guy. He has like the farmer's ads <laughs> and uh, Spider Man. I don't. That can't be right. Uh. Hear the organ get wicked from Ray Castaldi, same guy that did uh, the other chicken dance themes. And I don't know stuff. what that is. I uh, need to find that uh, killer video now. Steve. Da, 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 what is it? Push it. Hold on. Static X. <laughs> <laughs> Push it! Uh, salt and pepper. Uh, jump around. House of Pain. Nice. Uh, be that, aggressive. That, that song is Everlasting by Faith No More. Yep. <laughs> do, do you know the story behind that one? No. One of the members of Faith No More is gay. Really? And that song is uh, an homage to Sicking Duck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is filthy and Steve, it's awesome i get knocked down but i get up again and you are can, never gonna keep me down and i can never name another chumbawamba song yeah you either uh that's pretty much all that's on here by the way you want to hear a funny story about that no is uh <laughs> uh one of my buddies named justin he um he he had the where where you can adjust like at a bar you can change what the song is uh, the uh, touch tunes. Yeah, my brother-in-law used to dominate that with you know Daft Punk or whatever. I thought it was the funniest thing. Like, put twenty bucks in and just like annihilate it. Like, because you could usurp people's songs too. Yeah, his wife would put the money in, and he said he played nothing but tub thumping for like an hour. And a half. What? Oh, that was Gloria Estefan. Yeah, this is not <laughs> what I had in mind. Well, Steve, I want to shake my body and baby do that conga. I know I can't control myself any longer. Feel the rhythm of the music getting stronger. No, you can't control yourself any longer, beat. Did they got to do chorus to that, did you? I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> it was faster I, I, than that. I couldn't, I couldn't do that reading it off of something. That yes. was impressive. Oh, thank you. I'm here all night. <laughs> Till we go eat. Are we Mexican in it again? Yes, si, senor. Sweet. Well, hell's bells. I had a guitar pop up that I wanted to buy, and then I found out it di- didn't have the finish I wanted. Okay, the the thi- I think the thing I was thinking of is Madness Combat. <laughs> Sounds horrible. <laughs> uh, not when you see this. Oh, just to read this off starts off insane. The animation begins with a man with a boombox to zoom in and it didn't like that <laughs> uh, in this episode the series protagonist Hank J. Wimbledon and his antagonist Jesus <laughs> debuted the animation begins with the man of a boombox playing the chicken dance and Hank standing around a tree and a random dancing man in the background Hank all of a sudden tries to take the boombox and its owner pushes him to the ground. Hank becomes aggressive and beats the boom beats the boombox man to death. <laughs> a riot then starts among the other characters in which everyone tries to assault Hank. <laughs> Except the dancing man in the background, who seems oblivious to the violence. <laughs> Hank manages to beat many people into submission and blows up their bodies with a frag grenade. <laughs> At one point, Jesus, who distinguishes himself from the rest of the characters with his goatee, long hair, and halo, takes on Hank. <laughs> he returns two of the corpses into zombies <laughs> by a type of electrostatic rays, and upon combat, not only revive the people, but also their bare skin into transparent green. <laughs> they give it a try at attacking Hank, but then receive a second fatal beating. <laughs> when Hank tries to shoot Jesus with an M10... <laughs> He defends himself by quickly summoning a cross-shaped spirit shield. Jesus now forces Hank to the ground by the same si- same type of electrostatic rays and <laughs> resumes his revival session. When Jesus realizes his zombies do not offer enough offensive power, he decides to summon a cannon and fires a few shots at Hank, which he dodges by ducking and jumping. <laughs> Caught off guard, Jesus is then shot by Hank's M10. <laughs> Several more people begin charging at Hank, who now use PPKs, knives, and a sawed-off shotgun to take them out. After killing all his foes, Hank brings the boombox to him and shoots the dancing man in the background. Being the only living character left in the animation, Hank dances to the music, and a text appears on the screen. And so on this day, our hero had lain slain 30 men. 
and would later admit to having a good time doing it. 32 people, actually, if you count the zombies. <laughs> Spoiler alert to something from O2. Jesus. <laughs> it's completely nuts. All set to a techno version of the Chicken Dance song. Fuck. I have so that is <clears throat> the best possible tangent I could offer you, bunch of jokers. I love this because I wrote down as oh, it's then it'd be a fifty-four card deck in the um in the description of this episode. It has Steve narrates a murder of stick people. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your window farting? I opened the window because it's hot as balls in, and it's not any better outside. Ah, I'm opening it. I don't always listen to podcasts, but when I do, so do the neighbors. I'll just open this. For some reason it's cooler in public. A lot cooler. And maybe we'll just have a kitty guest. Usually it's easier when you're out of the closet, but whatever. Says you. Get back to you on that? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I like my own dick, but I'm not sure about anybody else's. <laughs> um, so, Steve, we Trickle. Have, we haven't done a car topic. We can do a car topic, or we can do band logos. Or we can do band logos on a different. Uh, so. Do it later. Band logos later? Car, yeah. Car related, though, what do you want to do? What's tickling the old fancy? Mr. Carvana, the, the company with the car vending the, yeah, machines. Th- that, that's funny. It's the uh, yeah, car dealerships and the evils thereof. Oh. Like, uh, CarMax is the last surviving member of the Circuit City family. Carvana hmm. only started seven years ago. Go, go, rewind that? CarMax? CarMax mm-hmm. was founded by the guys that ran Circuit City. I didn't know that. <clears throat> So it's interesting seeing them still remain everywhere. See, kids, you're going to learn something here. Okay, it's already noticeably cooler in here, isn't it? <laughs> nice. My swaths are less Betty. Maybe I should have put that fan in today. Yeah, do what you can when you can, if you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ceiling fan technology is pretty cheap now, aren't they? Uh, One downstairs, 80 bucks. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I've seen them for 50. Uh, yeah, and in this room, you don't need a big one, so... Uh, <laughs> What is the biggest possible one you could fit? It'd be funny to have like one of those <laughs> big ass fans, like you know. Basically, if it's not scraping the walls, yes. it's not doing it right. <laughs> Where it's always uh, going actually, very slowly. Uh, yeah, get get in touch with Sean. Um, do you have a spare helicopter rotor? Awesome. <laughs> I know of one north of L.A. <laughs> Too soon. I uh, I mean, you gotta kind of find the humor in everything, right? Really. You can't let jokes fly, about suicide leave you hanging. Fly like an eagle, not a Sikorsky. <laughs> well, uh, we could do dealerships. I've I've not had that many. Ba- I've, I mean, I've bought a lot of oh, cars. There, there but... are lots of horrors along the way, but my experiences have been expensive but pleasant enough with them. True. Yeah, but um, it, more so if you're a woman. Because then they just kind of try to work you over about it. And everything. I don't take my car to dealership to get worked on. No. Then they'll happily bilk you for every last right and cent. Yeah. Like, keep going to crazy dude shop across town. Mm-hmm. Is there anything he won't work on? Like, what's his spe- specialty? is Japanese cars, isn't mm-hmm. it? Okay. Uh, the main Toyota guy appears to have retired. Huh. So I'm a little concerned about how things go. So, uh... Basically, keep going for maintenance stuff. Like, if anything actually goes wrong, mm-hmm. you know, might have to seek points closer by since uh, west side of town's a long way from here. Well, you know, you do know a guy that works on his own stuff, but if you have to take the head off or the transmission off or something really serious, then don't take it to this garage. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if you want brakes or radiator or starter or alternator or belts or gaskets or anything like that, Come talk to me about it, but Hooray. <laughs> but other uh, stuff. I yeah, it's kind of the magic of having a car pushing two seventy. It's like it just keeps going. <laughs> That's way easier. And there's well documented evidence of other people with the same car, with the same mileage, with the same lack of issues. Steve, it's lonely up here on my pedestal of three hundred forty three thousand miles now. <laughs> yeah. That's a trip to the moon and almost back. Halfway back. Ish. Third ish. 
238, 239. Something like that. Now, what Car Talk would always say, the lunar unit. <laughs> the lunit. <laughs> Which has been really strange to see. Uh, Car Talk still lives on in podcast form, but it's always been like the best of Car Talk since the guys retired and now one of them passed away. Ray, d- d- was Ray or? It sounds right. I think Tom's still the one that's alive. Okay, okay. That or was more the other. It's been several years now, but it's been really strange to listen to any of them. That suddenly it's you know archived footage. Like oh yeah, someone's running around in eighty five Dodge Aries and needs some advice. Is it Tim? On it. <laughs> My name's Tim, and I drive an Aries. <laughs> that was early no, internet. It, yes, that that would be concurrent with uh, whatever evil stick figure fight. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should just narrate inappropriate things. <laughs> <laughs> or at least find transcripts of it and then read it to you. Oh, hey, hey, Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Thomas Don't just wanna... needs to be on here one day. Uh-huh. Too bad he's working all the time. He is working all the time. What, does he make his own schedule? Uh, something like that. Thomas, you're on a podcast. But, but this, this is, this is I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Good talk. See you out Why there. You spot like this. I don't even have alcohol. Well, you're the one that called me, man. <laughs> and, and typically, for the millionth time in a row, even though you actually told me yesterday, I forgot that you were doing a podcast today. And so that, now I'm on a podcast, looking more retarded than usual. Well, we have we 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 have to say R worded now to be PC. I donated twenty five bucks to uh, Bernie's uh, campaign today. Uh, mine was mine was around there too. I nice. did thirty last week, and we may do thirty again. Nice. I may just donate my tip money to it. Very nice. Are you delivering pizza tonight? <clears throat> Tomorrow. Oh. oh. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Surprise. He's double jobbing too. He is a delivery driver at Papa John's. Also. <laughs> um. The remember that uh in uh. Remember when I told you Traveler had that emergency surgery? Right. Right? He's trying to pay it back uh, sooner rather than later. <clears throat> Even though I told him he could just hit up his parents up because his parents are fucking rich, but he didn't want to. So Pride's a funny thing. Isn't it though? <clears throat> I, I could see my parents. Like, if I go to my parents, hey, I need a hundred bucks. They go, <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I've kind of been on my own for a long time. I have nobody to go to, but that's fine. Uh, I haven't had any bad, like, I've had a, I went to a dealership one time to go test drive an S2000 back in, I guess, 07, this is early, 07, 08. So they were still kind of, you know, I mean, they're, they have, they've, they're the same price as they were then, funny enough, the used ones, but uh, I get there, and you know, I called before I went, I was like, you know, it looks nice in the place, is it nice? Because it was in Lancaster, and from here, that's an hour away. Yeah. So. I was like, is it good shape? Yeah, it's in the, good shape. The good closer shape. side of South Carolina is still a ways away. That's where I bought my last Roku and mm-hmm. missed connections, like trying to meet mm-hmm. up at Publix. I went to the wrong Publix. <laughs> but, uh, I get there, and the lady comes out, and she goes, you, AJ, about this 2000? Like, yeah. And uh, she goes, it's right back here. And I had the key and everything. I get there. The thing's a fucking basket case, like scratched up. Convertible tops ripped, like wheels are curbed, like it's a bad. And they said it was in good shape. And I drove, you know, an hour. I'm like, it's not in that good a shape. And she looks at me and goes, "Well, it's not going to be perfect. It's used. Do you want to drive it or not?" And I went, "Yep." <laughs> so she goes, "Well, I have to go with you." And I'm like, "Even better." <laughs> I took that woman on the ride of her life. <laughs> I was getting that shit sucked. So- I scared the bejesus out of her. You know, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I need to get my license back next week, and uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> I should have said that. But we get done. I turn the car off. I get out. I toss her the key and go, I don't want it. <laughs> get back in my, at the time, 0708, my... TSX. Maxima. I had the Maxima in 08. <clears throat> I had TSX in 2010, because I bought the TSX... Um, Six months so after. I rode with you to Greenville to test drive a red S2000. <clears throat> that was in 2012. Believe that shit or not. Um, I had I bought the TSX in 2010. 12? Yeah. 
I bought the house, the oh, I bought the Glasgow house in 2010, and then six months later, I bought the TSX. So my I thought took I was 13 because I was explaining to whoever I was talking to at the time what the hell were we doing. Um, it might have been. It was. It was definitely either late 2012 or early 2013. Early 2013 sounds right. Yeah, because we took the TSX. Because I'm gauging whichever disaster piece. I sent pictures. I was like, and she's like, "Oh, hey, nice Miata." G- Bitch. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> um. <clears throat> actually, you might be right because we took the TSX down down there. Because uh, I didn't sell that till April of that year. Because when Emily and I got married, she didn't have a job and I didn't have a car. <laughs> like, oh, that's, that's that's a good way to start out. And then bought the both the Jeep and the S2000 that year. God, it's been a long time. That was around the time I bought Big Red that bankrupted me. Now, seven years later, I'm still trying to get out of that hole. Whoops. Well, you, you took the correct steps lately. So, uh-huh. And... For your mood, uh, I will say working first shift's going to be a little bit boner. Uh-huh. And doing something that's not just menial do, and, you know. This is the same old, same old. Or it could very well be the same old, same old, but I'm going to enjoy it instead of, yep, time to go print more water bills. Yeah, and that's that's a dying industry, whereas yours is the, the car van is they, not. They've got, they've got big ideas to do crazy stuff. <clears throat> They're... This is going to be the eighth inspection center they're opening. They're hoping for 30 or 40 to ultimately hit the 2 million cars a year mark. That is nuts. Now, are will there be any other duties besides photography? Uh, it could very hmm. well be jack of all trades, but I think it's like there's going to be primary things and uh, whatever you can pick up along the way. Mm-hmm. Sure. <clears throat> I mean... There's as long as there's room for growth, you can if they're if you're making mm-hmm. a lateral move and moving to a better schedule with mm-hmm. better benefits, yeah, like so, opportunity to you know, move up instead of staying flat and staying and feeling flattened. Well, you can't move up in the industry you're in now because there's going to it's 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 a it's, finite resource. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like trying to steal copper like, wire for a living at this point. You're just, <laughs> it's gonna be a viable option <laughs> <laughs> kidding but <laughs> uh, but i is happy for you very much so are we gonna have a party about that I think uh, my my kid there's one in vegas <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, so, sorry it appears i need to uh Go about jumping ship here before doing much of anything else. You don't want to do the old half baked uh, quitting ritual. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna open it with a uh, thank you and thanks again for the opportunity to have ex- suffered this hellhole. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not the right way to do it. <laughs> Your dad still does. He, he's yeah, at the company, uh, but I think right now it's more or less the race is on between him, me, and uh, one of the older guys on first shift in print. Like who's leaving first? Because like their retirements versus my uh, hopefully voluntary departure this time instead of being let go briefly. Yeah. He, um. He's sixty five. Six. Six. <clears throat> He he gets around and looks good for his age though, uh-huh. so I guess quitting smoking actually helped him pretty well. And it's still golf, so uh hmm. that has How a, does he golf with the hand? Uh being? right hand dominant. Oh, it's his left hand. It's his left hand that's the janky one. Okay. Yeah, well that yeah, that's okay, that's fair. I mean it's a little stable, but I imagine if that's all you know and you're used to it, it's you know it it's, it is what it no, is. I, I quit golfing in the '90s. I just divoted so badly. It's like this, this isn't fun. I can't <laughs> hit the ball straight. Like I, if I'm a, mm. even like on a driving range, mm-hmm. I'm I'm worried I'm going to hit the guy to my left or to my right <laughs> with the ball. Like it's that bad. Oy. Like I would divot less if I just use a shovel mm-hmm. playing golf. <laughs> Which was always a funny line I'd use in the online dating era. <laughs> I hit a par five green in two shots and then five putted for double bogey. <laughs> My short game is fucking 
garbage. I can hit it pretty long and straight, but I can't putt or chip too. I've gotten a few life. holes in one on putt putt or nice. you know things that mini golf is the uh, generic phrase, right? Yeah, yeah. You and I are about the same age, so we'll go putt putt because that's what we called it. Golf and games go on. Putt putt golf and games. That and DZ yep. Discovery, Discovery Zone. Zone. Mm-hmm. Those are rad. Uh, yeah, I just know the former putt putt in Greensboro is now the Kia dealership <laughs> next to the Longhorn Steakhouse with the giant horns growing out of the building. I imagine they probably frown upon you putting a hole in one of their Kias. Try it out. I get back to you on that. <laughs> uh, so far, the uh, the last hole I put in a car was a Ford. Flex, but that was someone else's doing. That was when you were valeting and somebody hit yeah. you while you were doing that. God, God I cannot imagine. I, I left uninjured, but couldn't sleep well for a week. Well, that when you're driving your own car and you wreck it, that's bad enough because I've done that twice. But when you're driving somebody Dude, my else's insurance car, is now, my insurance is now ninety bucks a month. Please, somebody hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't have collision on the Jeep because. If it gets any sort of damage, they're going to total it because the tax bill on it last year was eight hundred and ninety something dollars. <laughs> so, you know, I don't really need. If if somebody were to t bone me tomorrow and I live through it, I would buy my Jeep back, and I would buy another XJ, and all the cool shit I put on that one, I'd put on the new one that I just bought, <laughs> and I'd probably get a four wheel drive one this time actually. I wouldn't be seeking one out, but I would probably get one. Even though I never would use it. <laughs> Should it ever snow again, maybe that would be helpful. Or today's rainstorm would have been a little helpful too, but... A lot of that's tires. True, and I got the Michelin. Uh, well, I've got there. now two-month-old, was it, Maxis? Mm-hmm. It did great. Nice. It did so nicely today in the <laughs> rain. Like, um, even going through like giant puddles, like it just didn't care. I did, but like it, what happened? What mine didn't hydroplane. What it did was it was it was so deep that the water rushed to the windshield. I couldn't see a fucking thing for like fifty feet at a time. Like it, was I hit kind of white. Scary. I hit whiteout conditions passing by my old house today. It was raining so bad. Oh, I thought you went through a predominantly uh, <laughs> a Republican neighborhood. <laughs> well, South Park. No, nah, not really. <laughs> right. It's a mixed bag through there. Correct. I ever had some neighbors I'd keep flipping off along the way. <laughs> Every time we have a gig like somewhere very rural, it's like you have to dodge all the um the the Trump and the uh uh, uh thank you Jesus signs and then just like joust them. the whole time I'm just like jousting them like emotionally with my middle finger just driving by and just Oh, like, I see a pool a pool cue. I have plenty of those. <laughs> some of them are bent and I can use them just for that actually. <laughs> Well, Esteban, I think this would be a good time to call it. What do you think? Okay. Steve's probably got a new job, so we're going to celebrate that. And then I go to Vegas next week, and then we'll be back maybe on location. I don't know yet. <laughs> we got to figure that out. Uh, let's see if I can set the laptop on fire yet. Whatever. Well, you get, get, your, get your job situation squared away, and then it'll be easier for us to get together like during an evening or something or on the weekend to mm-hmm. get the laptop suitable for mm-hmm. this sort of thing. Well, cool beans. So... One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Bam. Zoom. Straight to eat tacos. <coughs> I'm AJ. I'm still Steve. All right, Steve. We'll see you in 53 and... It's a good year. Serby. Scene. Be our Volkswagen episode, right? No, we haven't done a Volkswagen episode. 53? 53. Because Herbie. 53. All right, cool. Bye. Doodles. Doodles.